In my free time, I consume a lot of coaching content on Twitch and YouTube, and I frequently see many members of my community offer VOD reviews to one another. I've been coaching esports for many years now, and I see beginner coaches making the same mistakes I used to make. In this guide, I will cover my personal approach to VOD review, and will also provide a good model that can be used for you to VOD review yourself. The biggest problem we want to aim to avoid is list all mistake itis. This is a common pitfall for new coaches, especially when reviewing a VOD of a significantly lower rated peer. It feels productive to point out all of the errors in their game, but in reality, it's overwhelming and ineffective. When I review a VOD, I'm silently scoring my student in many various categories on a scale from 1 to 10. My goal is to select their worst one or two categories and advise them to focus on improving in these aspects of their play. Of the categories I look for, they can be broken down into two groups, advanced and basic. Basic categories involve any aspect of the VOD that can be easily identified by the student themselves. Did this round demonstrate adequate gunfight hygiene? Did we start this round with a plan? Did this plan involve any of our teammates? Did we communicate our utility to our teammates? Was our crosshair reasonably close to our enemy's head when an engagement started? Did we take any engagements that were disadvantageous due to the economy? Maybe we peeked an op without recon, or we held a long-range angle with a specter against a vandal. If you're reviewing your own VODs, I highly encourage you to focus heavily on these aspects of your play. Advanced categories involve less objective metrics of our game, and we enter the realm of subjectivity. This is where it's important that you can back up any claim you make here with evidence from high tier gameplay. Was the timing of our utility usage optimal? Are we making strong plans or are our plans weak? Are our decisions made too quickly, too slowly? Do we pick up on important weaknesses in the enemy composition? How about the enemy play style? Do we adjust our play appropriately as the game goes on to the habits of our enemies? As a coach, it's important you try to isolate the biggest weakness in your student's game. Once you're reasonably confident that you see this weakness, try to provide advice on how to improve in that specific category. While it can be exciting for a student to hear everything wrong with their game, it makes it very difficult for them to structure their road to improvement. Keep your feedback short and succinct and provide your student with a clear path to success. There's one final category I've intentionally omitted from this guide, raw mechanics. As long as your student is consistently performing a simple practice routine daily, mechanical errors are best ignored. Students should not require assistance in improving their mechanics past a basic practice routine. It's very rare that a student needs to solely focus on their mechanics, but it's not unheard of. Of the past 117 VOD reviews I've done since I started offering free coaching on my stream, I have only recommended a focus on mechanics three times. Let that sink in. If you find yourself telling students to focus on mechanics more than 3% of the time you provide feedback, you're most certainly overvaluing mechanical skill. Be very mindful of this. I see many coaches on Twitch and YouTube frequently resort to telling students to focus on improving their aim. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my official Discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin. Here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Thanks for watching.